Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is not the video I was going to make today, but I just discovered something pretty cool. So we're going to be talking about the Prof Synapse COR prompt. I still don't really know what it's called or anything like that, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a GitHub link. All you have to do is click on the prompt.txt right here and you get this text here. So you just copy this and this is actually a custom instruction. Now, at first, I thought this was complete crap, and I really didn't like it. However, I've been using it over the last few days because I basically forgot that it was in my custom instructions, and I use ChatGPT for a lot of different things. So I was just using ChatGPT for various things, and I just suddenly realized why this prompt is so popular. So once you've got that inside your custom instructions, you can use GPT 3.5, GPT 4. I'm going to use GPT 4 just because it's better. And then I was playing around with this to see if I could get it to help me with something because I have this problem where I make a lot of content about uh, classic menswear, but people don't necessarily, even though they should, they don't know necessarily how to put that into their own niche. So what I did was I came up with this little prompt. When I do SEO for my classic menswear company, I noticed that attire was a great word, an outfit as well, for example, to put into keyword tools to find amazing keywords. Can you give me some ideas to do the same thing with another niche, let's say camping? And we're going to hit enter right here. And this is going to activate the prompt. So what I actually really like about this prompt is there are two parts of basically every response. There's the there's like the introduction from I don't actually know what this is called, prof synapse or whatever, I don't actually know. And then there's the expert that it calls into the conversation. And the really, really cool thing is it's almost like having auto GPT inside chat GPT, because what it does is it takes your input and your output, etc., and it will basically, you, you can change it as you want it. You can have a conversation with it. So for example, if I don't like the output here, I can say, I don't really like that. And it will select a different expert. So as you can see, Basically, what it said is, I'm an expert in SEO and keyword research. I know the importance of finding the right keywords to rank higher on search engines. I will reason step by step to determine the best course of action to identify potential keywords related to camping. I can use keyword research techniques and brainstorming frameworks to help in this process. I will help you accomplish your goal by following these steps. List down primary keywords, expand on each primary keyword, cross-reference, blah, 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 blah. So... Let's see how this actually works. Outdoors is actually pretty good, to be fair. So I'm going to go on keywordtool.io, and I'm just going to put outdoors. I'm going to see what comes up. So what this is, basically, what, what, what this whole video is about, if you take a word, a keyword like attire, okay, I've noticed that if you, if you use a keyword such as attire in a keyword tool, it will give you very, very specific keywords that are great for my niche. So what I wanted to do was take that, and apply it to different niches. Find a way to help people apply this to their own niche. I've just found this keyword, by the way, which is actually an amazing keyword. So I'm going to have to look at that in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's see what the results are for outdoor. Go outdoors. Okay. Okay, Alabama outdoors. Okay, so these are all, you know, decent outdoors aesthetic. Yeah, they're not really fantastic, though. Let's go on questions and let's see if this gives what we're looking for. No. Okay. So what I actually did now was because I thought these, this happened before and I thought these were a little bit generic. So what I said was these are a little bit generic. Can you make, uh, let me just check exactly what I said. I don't know. These seem a bit basic. Can't you come up with anything better? So let's do that. Okay, so while that's doing that, what we can do is we can take these, so let's take campsite, for example. What we're looking for is a way to get keywords in any niche, okay? So actually, this has worked, okay? So our campsite's free, our campsite's safe. These are all really, really good keywords, I'm sure. Our campsite's profitable. What Basically, if you're in the camping niche and you want to, you want to increase your semantic SEO or your topical authority, you click here, you click here, you copy... You go to a Google Sheet, sheets.new. You don't bother with individual keyword research, okay? You put all of these here. And now you have 127 keyword ideas already, okay? So you write each of these articles. You put them into ChatGPT. 
if you go on my channel, I'm currently creating a new playlist. It's it's already been created. This is the third video in it. If you go on youtube.com slash at income stream surfers slash playlists, and it's this one right here, step by step, increasing your topical authority and your semantic SEO. So in this video here, I talk about how to just get on with writing content instead of focusing on doing individual keyword research. So you just need a base keyword these days because of how ChatGPT works, because of how large language models work. And then this one right here is just an in-depth tutorial on writing content. And then this video that you're currently watching is a way to do a little bit more keyword research, but just individual keyword research, not wasting time trying to find you know, individual keywords within a base topic. So I'm going to click on keyword suggestions right here. We're going to see what else there is. So we're in the United States. Where are we? Yeah, United States. Interesting. So these could just be, I, I really doubt this is the United States. It's impossible. Why would there be a Welsh campsite in? <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. That can't be right. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe it is, but. I guess maybe they're looking to camp in the UK. Don't really know. But yeah, so these could just be another list. So you click here, file, copy. You've now got another 800 keywords. You don't need Ahrefs for this, okay? You don't need anything expensive. You can literally do this for free. So I'm going to click here again. Let's do tenting, I guess. I don't really know. So we'll put tenting in here. No idea if this is going to work. The good thing is I don't know anything about camping. so. This is actually a, a good video because, yeah, I don't know anything about camping, basically. I don't know if these are strictly relevant. Okay, we're going to move on from tentings. I'm not sure if that's actually a good one. Outdoors, we already did. Camping is just obvious. Let's do campground. I'm sure campground will work as well. So we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to basically have a look at what it came up with. So I am an expert in niche research and keyword discovery. I understand that generic terms might not always yield the best results. Actually, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, give me another 10 generic terms like your first response. So generic terms is actually what we're looking for, but I am curious here. So I will help you accomplish your goal by the following steps, blah, 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 sub niches, glamping. Okay. Okay, this is the good stuff right here. This is the good stuff. You can hear in my voice, this always happens when I'm making a video and I realize halfway through the video just how good the advice I'm giving people is. This is top notch, okay? Because, yeah, this works really, really well. I'm really, really excited. So keyword suggestions, glamping, uh, bushcraft, survivalist camping, stealth camping, winter camping, campfire cooking, I think this is probably the best video I've ever made, guys. I'm just going to probably leave it here. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to try this out on your own niches and let me know in the comments below if it's working for you or not. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this, I'm really, really sorry to um, Prof Synapse. I thought your prompt was absolute horse crap. I'm not going to lie. When I first started using it, I didn't give it enough time. But just because it was in my custom instructions and I forgot about it and I was using ChatGPT on my phone and it actually gave me some really, really good advice last night as well when something quite bad happened. It's so interesting that you can take a prompt like this and you can use it to do such insane keyword research. This is so much better than what you'll get if you just use ChatGPT, okay? 100%. So these are just potential blog post ideas, but these here, the really, really good ones are the ones right here, sub-niches, okay? Sub-niches, related activities, equipment, and destinations. So if it's not doing exactly what you want, just ask it for those four things and see what it comes up with. I am just going to try a couple more, so I'm going to try bushcraft. These will all increase your topical authority. So. I'll probably say this for another video, but if, if you're watching to the end of this video, if you want to increase your topical authority, okay, let's say your niche is camping. What you need to do is at the top of your website, you need a glamping header. Um, in, in the header, you like um, a title. I'll show you exactly what I mean now on Tiny Home Hub. 
So I have tiny home aesthetics, tiny houses, sustainability, etc. What you need is you need this to say something like um, glamping, and then you put glamping into this tool here, and then you write each of the questions, for example, or the keyword suggestions, or whatever you think is good for that niche. You do the same thing with bushcraft, okay? Um, I, again, United States, it says here, but apparently the biggest keyword is are bushcraft knives legal in the UK? Okay. Uh, so yeah, you write all of these, you find the good ones, basically. I'm just going to change this to global because I'm not convinced that that's actually giving me US results. So we'll search here. So yeah, are, bush kni are bushcraft knives good? What is bushcraft camping? Where can I bushcraft near me? So like the best places in X to go bushcrafting. Where can I legally bushcraft? Um, where did the term bushcraft come from? All of this will bring you traffic. This is how you do semantic and topical research for your SEO. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is probably one of the best videos I've ever made. Peace out.